Hello everyone! I'm sure that if you are on the interwebs, you've heard of Co-op. Yeah, yeah, this is the game where you try to do a 100 meter dash while controlling the individual muscles of the guy that you're controlling with the QWOP. Uh, the idea is to get yourself set up by pressing the P key like so to get yourself into that position and then the W key to nudge yourself forward. And then when you're in this position, alternate Q and W, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> it is ridiculous looking to say the least, but it is the only near foolproof method that I was able to find on how to beat this dang game. <laughs> it is ridiculous. So, yeah, the the idea is to essentially ignore the calves altogether in this method. You can try to straighten out the uh, right calf or left calf every, one, every once in a while to try and gain speed, I suppose, with the ONP keys. Oh, uh, ONP keys, excuse me. Um, by the way, the Q is the right thigh, the W is the left thigh, the O is the left calf, and the P is the right calf. That's as much as I can figure. <laughs> I don't know how much that helps you, though. Um, it is possible to get yourself to go into a full-on running momentum, going like it actually looks like uh, real running. Well, as real as this game can uh, have a running animation. <laughs> uh, but as you see, this method that I'm using right now, very, very slow, but uh, slow and steady wins the race. And we are watching a world-class athlete right here, baby. Just look at him go. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. No one in the Olympics can run quite like this guy. Um, every once in a while, if you get yourself running fast enough, I think Chariots of Fire wants to play in the background, but I highly doubt you'll ever get up to a fast enough speed to hear the full song using this method. It, it, Chariots of Fire is that, um, do 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 Yeah, that one. It's very fitting for such an athlete like him to, uh, you know, have a song, a theme song like that as he's running at high speed across the track here to the 100 meter goal. <laughs> and I, I really hope I can commentate this entire video. <laughs> <laughs> because it is so long, as you can see by the way that I'm going. I I do experiment as I'm going along the, the track to see if I can find a better method. You can see the rhythm that I'm pressing the keys at the upper left corner there just by alternating them like that. Um, it seems like if you get him more into an upright position that uh, he seems to go faster. Like if you were to have his... Uh, right leg on the ground behind him like he has right now and uh, then get his uh, left leg up in like a kneeling position so to speak and that that may be a little bit faster than this but it's a little bit more risky as well and this is definitely the safest method that I can go by here <laughs> and that's what I'm aiming for is to give you a near foolproof uh, way to finally beat this game because I'm sure some of you who have heard about this game were like, how are you supposed to beat this thing? Because people will often end up doing backflips, front flips, uh, and if you fall at any time during this um, quote-unquote race or dash or whatever, you have to start all the way from the beginning, uh, and that's not something that you really want to do. <laughs> Um, as the little question mark at the upper left corner there says, if you click on it, I'm, I'm not doing it here, this is post commentary. Um, if you click on that, it'll say that there's a surprise for you at 50 and 100 meters if you manage to make it there. Oh, the surprise at 50 meters. It is quite the, sur the surprise indeed. Just wait till I get there. It is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, what? Well, I'll just give you a little quiz here. What do you think is the uh, prime obstacle for a runner? 
I'm not gonna tell you, you're just gonna have to wait. <laughs> so we're at 40 meters and we are coming up to the 50 mark very quickly. Just look at him go, 41, wow, his speed is unmatched by no athlete in the world. <laughs> Oh, oh, having a little trouble getting my rhythm back. Oh, come on, you can do it, PK Gam. I believe in you. Come on. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, sometimes you lose your rhythm during the course of, like, that there. It just looks like you're flailing and, like, doing nothing, just flailing in place. Uh, when that happens, just stop for a minute and then just uh, alternate between the Q and W keys a little bit slower. Uh, usually when you lose your rhythm, you end up going a little faster than what you were doing, and that makes you, in turn, stay in one position somehow. <laughs> Alright, coming up to the 50 meter mark. Get ready, folks. This is going to blow your mind. 48, yep, it's a hurdle! <laughs> You don't actually have to jump this hurdle without knocking it over, and I do recommend that you knock the hurdle over. Uh, but this is the point that you're going to have to start using your calves just a little bit to nudge yourself over. As I said, the left calf is the O key, and the and the P calf, I mean the P key is the right calf. So you might have to do that for the back leg. The front leg you you can usually get over with just the Q and the W, but oh oh. Oh, it's so stressful at this point because it takes so long to get here. Come on, get your knee over that hurdle. <laughs> at this point, I'm just kind of dragging the hurdle along. I suppose that method would work, but it would take even longer to do so. So I attempt to get over the hurdle completely. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You're an athlete. Yeah, just the foot now is hooked. Gotta get the calf over. Hit that P key. I think it's the P key. <laughs> yes, yes, go, 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 lean forward. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> That's just the most awkward thing ever. So there we go. We left that hurdle in the dust and we are on the home stretch. Whew. Just 44 more meters to go. Well, 43. You get the idea. 43 points and well, whatever that was. <laughs> Go, baby, go! Go, baby, go! Woo! We need chariots of fire! I wish I could, you know, have the music on there in general, but... I, I'm not that good to be able to play up to the point that you'll be able to hear the music. So every once in a while, you're just going to hear a little snippet uh, when I get up to a certain amount of speed. But yeah, when you reach the 100 meter mark, uh, it's it's not nearly as impressive as the uh, 50 meters mark obstacle is, but it's still something that um, is... Uh, that, that most people are not going to be able to do effectively <laughs> unless they really practice the heck, the heck out of this game. Um, you know, the long jump? Yeah, that's what's at the end of this. <laughs> How you're supposed to long jump, I guess, is by having a normal ru running rhythm and somehow lifting your legs up to jump as far as you possibly can, but I'm not going to be going for that. <laughs> I think I'm just going to happily scuttle my way through here as carefully as possible. Though I do experiment a little bit too much um, coming very shortly and you're going to see see quite the bungle here and it's uh, and I uh, I probably got a little pale when this happened because I did not want to restart this race from the beginning. If you can call this even a race, it's a time. Well, it's not. Not it's not even time. It's just a a dash. <laughs> the world's longest uh, 100 meter dash, as you can see. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, the method works pretty well as I've gotten this far so far. Just don't play with it too much. Seriously, I'm warning you, don't play with it too much unless you want to revamp the method entirely and go for a genuine running motion with your legs. 
Uh, but that's gonna take you a long while to get down, I'm sure. I'm sure anyone could do it if they really tried, but most people probably will not have the, um, I don't, I don't want to say stamina, um, the tolerance to learn this game. Oh, here's, here's the thing that I almost screwed up on. I'm stuck in this position right here, and I have to twitch one of the calves to go forward. I was, I was getting a little bit anxious to try and find a faster method there, but no, don't do it. Please, for the love of God, don't do it. <laughs> well, unless you want to aim for a better time or something like that. Like if you want to enter some co-op world championships or something like that, if those even exist. <laughs> I highly doubt they do, but if they do, you, you, you're you going to have to practice this a lot. So we are at the 90 meter mark! Oh my goodness! Can you believe it? I can't believe it. It's, it's taken quite a while. <laughs> Uh, I, I was actually worried when I did this recording that Cam Studio was going to run out of memory because you can only record um, two, two gigabyte AVI files. So I, that's one of the reasons why I got a little hasty earlier uh, at the 85 mark or so and I almost fell backwards. So that then I decided, no, wait, if it just messes up, I'll just redo the video. I just want a successful run here. But it turns out that it worked out after all, obviously, as you can see from the video here. Because otherwise I wouldn't be showing this if uh, uh, Cam Studio didn't have a video file to give me. <laughs> oh, we're so close. We're so close. Go, go, jump, jump. <laughs> How does one jump from this method? I don't know. What is this anyway? Would it, would it be like a scuttle? It's certainly not a run. I, I'm gonna call this some sort of human scuttle. Anyway, get your heel into the sand and you become a national hero. Yes, your long jump was 0.2 meters. <laughs> and that is co-op in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you later.